Hello everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. So today we are going to try and make some stainless steel. So first of all let's have a look at the process because it's quite a long one and behind me I've actually got the machine set up and some pipe work as well done. So the recipe for stainless steel, we can forget the sta tiny stainless steel dust we can use here in the mixer. And for the mixer we can use six iron, one nickel, dust, one manganese dust and one chromium, chrome dust. Now the thing that's tricky here is actually the manganese. The chrome is not too difficult. The recipe for that one, there are actually two recipes. We can either make it from tiny chrome dust and that might sound a bit strange but that's actually twice as efficient as the other way. So in the macerator here we can crush up some, um, some chrome crushed dust. Um, and when we crush the recipe for the chrome crust dust, by the way, is six emeralds in the centrifuge. No, sorry, six ruby dust in the centrifuge will make two aluminium dust and one chrome crushed chromium, chrome crushed dust. Okay, I can't get that right at all. Anyway, so let's go back to the use of this. There is a second usage, and that is in the chemical reactor. So if we put one chrome dust plus nine buckets of hydrochloric acid, we will get nine buckets of hydrochloric solution, chrome hydrochloric solution. And the uses of that is one bucket will make um, three tiny chrome tiny dust. Now, so we've got nine buckets coming from here. So nine times three is 27, which in fact is equivalent to three dust. So it compared to the other way of doing it, let's look at the uses in, in the macerator, we get three dust for two. So we're twice as efficient doing it through that way. But we're not going to do that today. We're going to stick to the easy recipe. Manganese, on the other on the other hand, is a lot more difficult. Let's go back and see if we can find that recipe. Oops, didn't work. <laughs> if we actually have to do that, that particular route, if we want to stick to modern industrialization, because obviously we can use Tech Reborn for producing it, or we can do it the modern industrialization way, which is what I'm tending to, planning to do. So we use an electrolyzer. Same thing, this time we need manganese sulfuric solution, which will make three, uh, one bucket will make three uh, tiny manganese, manganese tiny dust. The recipe for this is in the, electro, in the chemical reactor. So one manganese crushed dust will produce, not, with nine sulfuric acid will produce nine buckets of manganese sulfuric solution. Sulfuric acid, the recipe for that is the way we're going to be doing it is we're going to be using sulfuric naphtha and hydrogen. Hydrogen by the way is really quite straightforward that's just water in the electrolyzer which will give us two buckets worth of well two buckets of hydrogen and one bucket of oxygen. There's not many uses for the oxygen so we'll probably just put it away somewhere. So going back um, where was I now? Going back to, I wanted to, um, I can't remember what recipe, oh yes I wanted a nap for in sulfuric nap for Now the way to make that is two ways. In the distillation tower we can do that or we can make it in the distillery. Now we haven't got to making the distillation tower because it requires stainless steel uh, and other things that are a byproducts of this process. So what we use is we use crude oil We'll give three bucket or oh, 300 million buckets of sulfuric naphtha, and here we've got shale oil which will produce 500. So they, actually, the difference between this this one requires um, stainless steel fluid pipes in the uh, oil drilling. Let's have a look at this before we put the easiest way to do it. Fluid pipes in the oil drilling rig. The oil drilling rig. We can there's two recipes for that one. Let's have a look at these. Oh, should have used these of that. We can use stainless steel. We can use aluminium fluid pipes. So aluminium produces crude, and um, oil and stainless steel produces shale. Let's go back to the uses of crude because that's actually quite interesting in here. There's three different recipes. So you can make light sulfuric fuel. Get half a bucket for, for one bucket of crude. We can use. We can get fifth of a bucket or 200 milliliters of heavy fuel, sulfuric heavy fuel or sulfuric naphtha. So that's how but I was stuck. I don't know how to get those other two recipes. So when you produce it, first of all, all you do is you get um, light sulfuric fuel. And the way you do it is you come along here and you select the recipes like that. You select the recipe that you want to do like this and then click the plus button to move it in. So the one we want is crude oil going to sulfuric 
naphtha, like that. And then it locks the recipe in here. So crude coming in will actually give us, as a result on that, this sulfuric naphtha. So what I've done here is I've actually tra dragged some pipe work around here. I've taken it down from underneath here and I've just driven it all the way around into there. And all I'm now doing is putting aluminium pipes into here. I've run out, it's it finished. Um, if you actually have a look at the uses of these ones, I'll go back to that and have a look at the uses of this. It tells you it's got a probability of 10%. Now that would normally imply you get one fluid for uh, one 10% chance of getting a fluid. In this case, it's actually 10% chance of the pipe disappearing or being used up. A bit confusing because it's unusual to do it that way. Anyway, there are some interesting things in modern industrialization. So I've got this industrial tank with 240 two buckets of fuel in there so let's just get these out make sure i use the wrench don't want to use anything else shift right click it otherwise we drop the fluid and then come along here so water i've got into this in electrolyzer here i've got a pipe coming up with water so i'm going to turn this on and we're going to start getting hydrogen and oxygen so I just right click that and you can see this immediately starts up now this is going to produce two outputs. We'll have to wait a few seconds for it to come up because we've got hydrogen and oxygen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to also lock out of here other fluids. So I'm going to select this lock editing mode and just select those as blank. And we don't want, I don't want it filling up with hydrogen. I just want one bucket, one tank's worth of hydrogen in here. If you see what I mean. So now that we've got two buckets of that. So let's just take one bucket of hydrogen here and one bucket of oxygen out of here like this and then we, what we're going to do is we're going to prime these so I want the hydrogen to come into here because we need hydrogen plus sulfuric naphtha will give us sulfuric acid so I'm going to prime this pipe here I'm going to right click it and then I'm going to say I want hydrogen coming out of here so I can click the, the button like that and then I can say I want it going out. I'm quick enough that it shouldn't go in anywhere. So this will now come into here. So now we've got hydrogen. So actually what I should also do in here is I should also click in the recipes. It's probably the best thing to do it in this order as it happens. So what the one we're looking for is the one with hydrogen and sulf sulfuric naphtha, this one here. That will produce naphtha and sulfuric acid. So let's just select this recipe by clicking the plus in here like that. So that's locked this into place. We have another recipe in here that we're also going to use later on. And that is the one for the actual crushed, um, well, I can see it, there we go, hold on. The crushed manganese dust, plus sulfuric acid, nine buckets of it will give nine buckets of manganese sulfuric solution. So we can actually click this one as well. So now we've got these items locked into place. I haven't got a way of putting the manganese in yet, but it's mostly about fluids, this. So we've got high, seven buckets of hydrogen. We haven't got any sulfuric naphtha. Let's make sure that we get some of that in. So that's what we brought the tank down for, like this. And then simply right click this on the end of the pipe. And then we can simply click the pipe here. We don't need to prime this because there's only one way it can go out. So that we just click it like that. So that's going to be pushed into here, so into the chemical reactor. So now we're going to be getting naphtha and sulfuric acid. And we're going to get 12 buckets of naphtha. You see that came in very fast in here. Uh, and of course the hydrogen is going to keep coming in until that fills up with oxygen. It's not going to fill up with oxygen because we're going to get rid of the oxygen and put it back into the system. So this is where I want the other tank. So here I've got um, another pipe here. And what I want to do is I want to take prime this pipe here with oxygen. So what I'm doing this for is to make sure that other fluids don't go into the, the wrong pipes. So we want this as an out, like that. And now the, this will be emptying out from oxygen. It's already gone. In fact, it's gone over here. It's come into this tank here. And this tank, as you can see, is actually is reducing its fluid. And the oxygen is going out through this uh, ME fluid import bus into the system over here like this. You'll notice I've got plenty of oxygen in here, but you can see it's going up, just like that. I have done some testing on this. It's night time. I'll be back in a second. Right, so the next thing 
I want like to do is I'd like to take so let's go back to the recipe for, for uh, manganese so let's press it and just actually go straight to manganese I think probably the best where is it manganese crushed dust here so the uses of that we put that with this sulfuric acid will produce this so if I go back mm, sorry I want to go back to the to this not to that I want to go don't want to go to nap so I want to go to my uh, nap for don't I if I've got it right manganese sulfuric solution hold on I want this is spelt wrong that's not it here we go so I've got some naphtha now the uses of naphtha are basically we can crack that with some steam and that will produce steam crack naphtha the uses of the steam crack naphtha is it in, again in the distillation tower or the distillery and we can produce there's actually six different I no, there's eight different items you can produce or fluids you can produce out of here and the one I want to produce is ethylene and the reason I want to produce ethylene is to look at the uses of that we can make polythene uh, in the chemical reactor I think yes polythene here so we can either use one chrome tiny dust with 500, a half a bucket of ethylene, or produce 700 millibuckets of polythene. If we do four lead, uh, you'll get, with the same amount of ethylene, you'll get th less than half the polythene. So it's obviously better to use chrome, chrome tiny dust for that one, uh, because the other way it's quite expensive anyway. So what we need to do now is to get this out into another, into another unit. Here I've got some steam coming into this unit I haven't turned it on yet but we haven't set up the recipe either but what we're going to do to start with is I'm going to take this naphtha out of here oh I'd like to get rid of some of this oxygen let me put the oxygen into I can't put it into the output I'll have to go put it in the system over here like that and hydrogen I might be able to do and now it's unlikely I'm going to be able to fill this up because it's already filled up. So I'll just put it into the system. We don't need any more, like that. So what we now need to do is we want to get rid of the naphtha out of here. Otherwise, it's, as you can see, it's already blocked up. So we've got um, 12 buckets of that. So we need to take one bucket of naphtha out of here. And we'll also take out of here some sulfuric acid, like that, because we need to prime the other pipe. So this one I want to prime here as I want to say this has got naphtha in it, like that. And you'll see that straight away it's come out of here. That's, no, that's the wrong way actually. It needs to come out of here and go into this pipe here and then go back into this one. That's where we want. Oops. No, never mind. Let's just, that's correct. This one isn't. So let's just make sure that it goes that way, like that. So we're now getting some naphtha in here. We've actually got one bucket of naphtha. In fact, I think I probably have to make sure I get the recipe set up first of all for this one. So let's do that before I forget. So we want naphtha and steam. So we want let's find it. There's quite a lot of recipes as you can see. There's um, this one here. Naphtha and steam will give this one. So we can click the plus, and that puts this into this. It, chemical reactor what we can also do is we can just lock up these other two fluid slots just in case and that now I can put this into here but I'm not going to do that just yet because well maybe that's fine yeah we'll do it anyway it doesn't make any difference so that should have some naphtha into it now good also at the same time I was going to put some steam I'll just right click this up on this one. so we've got the steam coming in here like that and so that's going to produce ethylene oh so I'm steam cracking out for and that's all it's going to do it's going to fill this up until this gets to 16 buckets like that anyway right carry on so what we now need is some uh, crushed dust for the um, manganese so let's have a look have I got a manganese I've actually got 23 prepared. Very simple recipe for this. It was just iron in the... I uh, didn't look at the recipe for this, did I? Iron in the centrifuge will give 8 iron plus... or 6 iron crushed dust will produce 8 iron dust and 1 manganese dust. So I've been prepared a little bit in advance. So I'm going to put that into here now. And what will happen is that this will... when we've got 60... you see we've got some naphtha coming in here. This is out and sulfuric acid is 
almost enough. As soon as it's enough, it will then produce some manganese solution. So what happens we need to do now is we need to take this sulfuric acid out of here and put it back into here. So the way we do that, as you can see, we've got a pipe. The other one is going to come out of here. We'll have a look at that in a minute. So what we need to do is we need to set as one of the byproducts from the manganese solu solution, we need to put it into here. So it needs that with the sulfuric acid to make the manganese solution. And the pipe I've got for that is this one here. So let's just go back over to the actualizer and put the recipe for this one. So we want the manganese, manganese sulfuric solution, which is this one. We'll select that recipe. And what I'm going to do is make sure I lock up the others just in case I need the chemical reactor or the electrolyzer for doing something else. So now that's prepared. So what we need to do now is we need to take, oh, I've got the pipe. I think this is the one for the one, top one. So let, anyway, let's get it out. So what have I got now? I've got some manganese sulfuric solution. I've got that, but I've got nothing in here. So we need to put it back into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this copper pipe here. Now I'll do it on this one. We'll do it this thing, the steel pipe. Doesn't make any difference. So let's get the a bucket of sulfuric out here. And we'll make sure that that's it primed into this one. So right click um, this with the wrench. Oops, doing that wrong somehow. <laughs> it's the end of one. Oh, well, that's actually not what I wanted to do. I wanted to right click it with the thing. But as it happens, this is correct because I selected that once. So this has gone back into here. In fact, it actually wants to come out of here. So let's just select. All right, that's better. We want it to go out of here. So the sulfuric solution needs to come out of here and go back into this machine. And you'll see that it's going through here. So now we're going to get some manganese dust and we're going to manganese sulfuric solution. So we need to take this manganese sulfuric solution. It's hard, isn't it? It's, let's get a bucket of that ready. Here like that. And then prime this pipe here. That's better. So we click this one. We want this to be out like that and that should then come into here so as you see we've got 700 when that reaches 900 it'll start to produce some manganese that started already as you can see so we're going to get some manganese tiny dust in here in fact what i should probably do is to put this into as soon as that finishes put that into there put it back again like that and we can also put some sulfuric solution in here because that's come out again oh, i can't put it in the output can i it has to go on the input here so i can put some of that in here like that so you'll see there's nothing in here and there's but there's 4900 in here because that's being processed from here but when it's finished this process here this output has gone back into here so it's filled it in so that's the only use i found for doing in and out in, in this particular case because it works just perfectly so here we have some manganese tiny dust fantastic so here's the here's the nap for this one, and we're going to push this one now into the next machine here, which is the um, distiller. And we need to so we'll set up the recipe for the distiller before we do anything else. So the one we want to do in this case is to take this. We need ethylene. So let's just select that one. It's already locked into place, so I can't go wrong. So all I need to do now is to come along here, take an empty bucket out of some steam crack nap for out of here and put that into this pipe so we shall say i'll use this pipe here no i'll use i'll use this bronze pipe and we'll put that into here some steam crack naphtha and that wants to be out and that's going to come into here as you can see and as soon as that we get some ethylene coming through here so that's basically it so naphtha but steam crack can i put this into this i can good and that for bucket we can put into here good so that fills up that one so i don't need to put anything else in here so now we've got that whoa so the reason we need poly polyethylene by the way is because of the next level next tier of machines we're going to be building which we're not going to do today because what i've done so far i think is adequate it's going to take some time so we've got some 21 manganese dust now I think that's enough for the to start with. Let's, let's put the uses of those. In fact, let's just click. Let's put the uses of those into here like this. 
So we're going to get two manganese dust. Fantastic. In fact, I should have a recipe for doing packaging those up because I need that for later on. I don't think I've got a recipe for that at the moment, otherwise it would have shown up in here. So let's just do um let's look at the uses of this with salt. Let's get rid of that one. And then just create the re create the recipe because it and put that one into the into the system. I've got quite a few recipes already in the system for stuff that's coming up. Uh, and so I would like this one in the uh, assemb uh, molecular assembler. Let's do that. Just find a space for it. I've been extending this quite a little bit. Oh, it doesn't really matter where I put it. I guess we'll put it up here. So now we can make some chrome dust. Let's have a look. I should have a recipe for chrome. Right, we can make. Oh, that's in battery. I must have pressed the R button on the thing. Let's press escape and do that again. So now we can craft some chrome dust. Um, have I got. Yes, we'll craft some of that. So this is going. Two of those can make three of those, as we saw before. So that's going to go in the macerator. Oh, that one. Actually, it's already done. <laughs> so we should have that already prepared. Yep, we've got three of those. So now let's have a good stainless steel. And I have got the recipe for this. So let's select this recipe here and make one of those. It's going to produce nine. So now we've got the manganese dust, the nickel dust, the iron dust, the chrome dust, and this will produce some stainless steel dust. That goes in the mixer. Again, that's probably already done. I like to maze I can't see which one it is to be honest. Oh, it's right at the back, isn't it? Electric compressor. Oh, this is the electric mixer. So it's already done. So we should have for our first stainless steel does. Yeah, indeed we have got nine. Fantastic. So what we can then do, I can actually put this back into here. We can actually make some hot steel ingot, hot stainless steel ingots. And um, we just basically put these into the blast furnace. The other thing we can do with this is let's have a look at the uses of um, stainless steel dust. We can put this in the mixer with some chrome dust, some aluminium dust. And that will produce canthal dust. And I think I've already got a recipe for that as it happens. Let's have a look. I have. I've got recipe all the way up to coils. And I should be able to craft 16 coils. Let's see if we can do this. No, we're missing some tiny manganese dust. But we're missing six. Actually, that's not too bad as it happens. Have a look how many we've got. Probably got those already in here we have so what i have also set up here was a way of extracting the items out of this machine here it is this one here so this is a is a simple steel item pipe and that is basically going back and it's coming into this chest and that's going to be imported into the system and all i haven't done is turned it on turn it on so let's just turn this on so its output is whitelisted just turn it on let's unwhitelist it and this should Manganese tiny dust. Um, is that output? Yes, that's output. Ah, oh, probably the other end isn't isn't white listed. Let's have a look. It's, yes, it's white listed. So it's black listed. It's probably oh yes, yeah, so I just saw some come in there just quickly, and they've been taken out. So we should actually be able to craft these sixteen coils up now. I'm not going to go through the rest of the steps. All fairly straightforward as it happens. So we'll get those processed, and it's uh, so it's now going to make 16 manganese coils. Wow! Actually, this is actually faster than I thought I was going to do this. To be dead honest with you, um, I did have to fix one thing. I did, I did this whitelisting on here. I've also got them in the in the freezer. In the freezer, we're going to need stuff coming in. Uh, here's the recipe for that. So as soon as we've got some items getting in, they're going to get pushed in here, and then there's just an item pipe. It goes it was a bit slow because I've got slowness on some time here. So you can see that the item pipe is pushing in here, and I've got this. I had these whitelisted, so nothing was coming out. So that's always a bad thing. Always a bad thing. So let's just put that back again. In fact, let's put this one over here so because we, we've covered that bit now. Uh, yes, that's fine. We can actually cover up these. We don't need those anymore. That's all done. So now. Let's have a look at the process of process of this. So we actually have got some canthal hot ingots now. So we've got schedule 25. 
Let's have a look at those. They should actually already be in here. It should be running. It doesn't. Oh, yes, there it goes. It's just running now, as you can see. It's running. So on the input side, which is here, oh, it's already in. We've actually got. Oh, yes, I see. So it's taken the one. It's inside the machine. It's just got it now, and it's been taken out. So we have our first ingot. That ingot is going to go through the compressor and be compressed, and then it's going to go through the wire mill and be turned into a coil. And then it's going to be assembled. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we've we, things are in progress. We can have a look again and see what's actually going on. So at the moment, it's also crafting some manganese, aluminium dust, and that's being made from chrome crushed dust. So we, we're doing that as well. So that's fine. Everything's running fine. So we'll just leave it. You can see in the mace right here, we've got some ruby dust. So that's making both chrome and aluminium dust. Anyway, so when we've done that, the next thing we need to do is actually two things. The last quest in the book, and we haven't looked at that, the last quest for modern industrialization is the diesel generator. And I have got the recipe for the diesel generator here. So let's collect that and wait for all the, the fanfare. Because we've completed that chapter. Uh, we also need to make <laughs> fast and furious. We also need to make a screwdriver. Now, a screwdriver is made from aluminium, and it's actually stainless steel bolts and a stainless steel rod. We've been to how we make rods anyway. For lots of it's all the same in all of these cases. Uh, so we'll take one of these screwdrivers. Come on, like that. I can't do this just yet because, as you can see, the electric blast furnace is actually running. So. On the imp that's the fluid output hatch because I had to have some output recipes. We've got 42 canthal dust to be wait for, and they're going to get pushed out into here, as you can see. That's right, it's making some canthal hot ingots. So, what I'm going to do is night time, I shall be back as soon as this is finished. See you in a few seconds. Well, I'm having a little intermission there because I've forgotten to do this. Polythene. If we go look along here, this is the chemical reactor. I was wondering why I've got this extra pipe coming back here. So here we have chrome dust plus ethylene will produce polythene. Let's shift click this recipe into here. I can't do it because I've forgotten to unlock these. So let's just unlock these recipes. Get rid of that one again. And then try that again, because I think we need to do that twice. At least make sure I get the right recipe in here. So let's go down here. Polythene is polythene this one here let's click that recipe into place yeah that's better now because i locked up the output it wasn't going to go in here so i can now lock up this one here like that so what we can do is put some chrome dust into here and that's why i've got this pipe coming out of here in fact what i did for the temporarily is i put in a tank here so what we can do is take one bucket out of here in the tank uh, oops well i'm there let's just take this bucket out and then prime this pipe here so this is the one we want to go out so let's just prime this one uh, and when I'm here I'll make sure that I'm one of the things that happens sometimes it goes back onto the input side when you're clicking this to an output so for example here the outputs locked up good and here it was only one output so that's no big deal so we can simply right click this twice so that's now going to come into the chemical reactor. So we just need some chrome dust in here. And I can basically take this one and reverse it not into here. I can put it into this one. So let's just do that. This was a steel item pipe, which I've got here. And then we can simply remove this one from here like this while right clicking it again, clicking this across, and then <laughs> getting to the right position, which is obviously going to be a bit awkward. I'm clicking this one, which I can't do. <laughs> it must be possible. Just got to get the right angle like that. Good. So then we just change the direction of this to go the opposite direction. So it's going to go out of the tank and into here. So we've got ethylene here already set up and polythene is going to come out. So now we need now it's a little bit of chrome dust. Um, I have to be a little bit careful here, but let's have a look at chrome. Oh, 
Oh, I do have some time. I do have a tiny dust recipe. Fantastic. Okay, I shall be back when this, when we still have our 16. Oh, we've got, yeah, I got rid of my village. <laughs> so I have got a few more mobs around here like this. So I'll just get rid of this guy. I've got no arrows with me. Tell you what, let's get some arrows out of my bag. And that'll do. One hit him. So I've now got, of course, I've now got uh, Bad Omen. I think I should have Bad Omen. Doesn't make much difference. I'll just drink a bucket, bucket of milk and get rid of that before I visit any villages. Anyway, see you in a short while. Right, those coils have just finished. I haven't bothered to go through the whole of that recipe for, with you, but it's, I don't think it's important to be done this way. So let's now put these down into here. And you'll notice when I do this, it's going to say the shape is invalid. Let's go a bit up here. It's actually an open block. So let's just go around the site. So now I'm looking at this as shape invalid. Now, I, I didn't know the solution to this, but all you have to do is take the screwdriver, right click it, and you saw that those changed, and now the shape is valid. And now we've got a blast furnace of um, Canthort here. And what we need to do, this now will take 128 EU per tick. So let's just, I've got here a diesel generator, but we now need to put into here a um, MV input hatch. So I've got that prepared in advanced machine hole. We've made those before. Uh, an electron cable will produce an MV input hatch like this. And then I can put this down here like this and then connect it in with a electron cable because that's the, the same tier. And of course we have to go through the business of right clicking the wrench on it. So one side. Ah, oh, of course, yes, that won't work until I've actually, I can do this face. And that I have to make sure this output is on, on this face here like that and then we can do this and then it'll connect in and you'll see it's actually running because I've got in this tank here some creosote I've got lots of creosote from making that and it does have a reasonably look at the usage of the creosote it does have a reasonable we can two uses lubricant I don't know what the lubricant is used for there's nothing on there there's no usage of that but as a fuel it produces 80 uh, eu per millibucket so one bucket is 8000 eu so it's fairly reasonable now of course this thing's going to go a little bit faster if we have a look at it now well i'm not sure to be done <laughs> i have to start using it the other change i made was here if i don't remember showing you this i was wondering what this pipe was for so i put it back here with some chrome dust so we've got polythene coming out and i put this into this tank so now we've got 12 buckets of polythene and we need to have a look at the use of that because that's important i said it's for the next tier of machines well let's have a look so the important one here is a digital circuit board we could also make up, start to make basic upgrades and advanced upgrades. And what these do is they actually increase the overclocking, max overclock plus 2 EU, and this one is plus 8 EU per tick. So that means the machine runs faster. Anyway. So that's it with this episode, a little bit longer than normal, but I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something new. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.